Chris Call here at CLK Video Productions once again with another tutorial and today we're going to talk about how to put together a really quick photo collage in Photoshop. Uh, you can use uh, the, the same tutorial and same methods for the, like the last two or three versions of Photoshop. I'm using CS5 so let's move along right now okay. Alright open up your uh, click file and new and we're going to start a new project here and title it. I'm using um, the title of episode 131 promo now this is for a radio show we're creating a photo collage I've already got my presets as far as height and width and uh, you can also set background to a specific color or just leave a transparent which I'm going to do um, I don't need any colors in the back now I'm gonna add my files uh, go to your files, uh, your folder that you need the files from. I'm going to be use, selecting seven photos from um, this folder. And they're all of independent musical artists. Now you see they're all docked on the top here. And I'm going to choose my template, my main template, and start dragging the files down uh, into the project template. And then to put the file on the template, you just drag it in there. Now it's the wrong size, so I'm going to uh, have to rescale it. So basically what I did is I went to Edit, I went down to Transform, and then Scale. And then you just slide the little edge of the photo and adjust the size of the photo to, to what you need. This guy's way too big, uh, so I'm going up here, Edit, Transform, scale, grab onto the photo on the corner. That way you keep it kind of consistent and drag to the size I need. And I'll put it right there for right now. And you just continue on. And you'll picture the pile up in here and we're gonna move them in a second. Uh, but as you, uh, I would use your arrow selection uh, on your cursive, cursor. Uh, which is on the uh, top left. You'll see all the uh, different selections for controls. Uh, use the arrow for this. And as you select these photos, I mentioned on the right hand side, you see my cursive now, there's a little uh, layer panel. And each photo, as you uh, grab it, you highlight it, and then you can move it around within that template. You can drag it in. If you don't click on the photo you want to work with, it's going to move the previous photo. So you're going to make sure you click on the layer you want. Okay, I'm just going to continue dropping photos in here until I get everything I need. And then I'll do some uh, finessing and fine tuning from there. Okay, drop these guys. See, I clicked on this guy right here. And now I can move them around. Now some of the photos I don't need to rescale. They're already the right size. I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, now I'm docking the photos back where they were before. So we can get them out of the way. And I can just work with my main project template. Uh, and it looks like I put a double of a photo already. So I need to get rid of the one on the bottom. I think I'm going to get rid of the one on the bottom right. I missed one of the other photos. And I need to drag that guy back into the project, find him here, and then replace it. This guy right here. So, I'm going to drag him back in. I'm going to click on it in the panel there. As you can see, drag it over, move it to where I want. And in order to get rid of this other guy, you just click on the layer in the right panel. No, that's not it. You just click on the little eyeball, and that will shut it off. Now I can move him back, move him back to where I want. Click on the layer again, slide him over. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more adjustment here. I don't like the one on the, uh, uh, the bottom there. I'll scoot that over. And I don't like this one here, so I'm going to move it down a little bit, kind of. And it's 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 good for collage, so I'm going to save it. 
and uh, you can either save it as a project file, come back again and work on it, or I'm just going to save it as a JPEG. Uh, if you want to leave it transparent, you'll have to leave, you'll have to save it as a PNG file, which I don't want to do. So you set your quality settings, push save, and we're going to check it out, see how it looks real quick in the folder that I saved it to. There it is. Done. I'm happy with that. Thank you very much for watching again. This is Chris Call at CLK Video Productions. You can find me and all of our videos at clkvideoproductions.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.